Hey, this is James App at the Dapper Den Barbershop in Ridgefield, Connecticut, and today we have Dan. All right, Dan, what are we doing today, man? Uh, just basic, want to keep it long on top, All right. uh, real short on the sides, uh, faded up top, faded okay. higher, and then maybe a slight taper in the back. Right, and you're going to slick it straight back? Slick it straight back. So kind of like the rat pit and fury kind of fury, thing yeah the fury yeah but we're gonna leave a little bit longer on top his yep. kind of stops like right here you want it to do you want it to fall over some shortness right here um like, i don't know bring it, like artistic license with that i don't know how that would artistic yeah. license yeah <laughs> <Hey> now, okay <laughs> i don't know that's a what do you th how, how would that even look? well i mean yeah it's up to you i mean we could also do that and we can just blend it into something that looked like that would look a little weird. Look a little as more long like as it a, doesn't like go a comb mohawk. Over. Yeah. No, it won't look like a yeah, comb no. over at all. It just look like a really like undercutish but slick back. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna works. do so. I want to do like a two on the sides up through here. Yep. Make it nice and tight, which will elongate your face. You can already see it's longer right now. Mm -hmm. It's not doing that. And then we're gonna kind of taper it out. We might do like a half or a zero taper right perfect. down here. Yep. Bring it back. Zero out the back and everything. Clean up the top. Um, beard. What do you want to do with that? Um, just a basic shape up. Yeah, just kind of clean it up a clean bit. Clean it up, yeah. Tighten to the face. Tighten Are you going to grow it out at all? Uh, probably continue growing okay, it out. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Well, let's get to work, man. Today, I'm going to be using a uh, Babilis Pro FX trimmer. This is the FX, uh, what is it? 870B. This is the Stay Gold, the Sophie Pock version of the clipper. Uh, really like this thing. It came with a fade blade on it, but I took it off, and I actually switched it to a taper blade on the back of it. I just prefer the way this cuts. It's cool, check these out. They should be available now or something. I don't know why I'm looking at you like you're gonna buy one. <laughs> um, so right now I'm just gonna go through with a two. I am gonna probably comb this. I'm gonna part it where I want to because we're gonna treat this as an undercut in terms of we're gonna bring a big disconnect up here and here. And we're gonna take this all off. But this I kind of try to find where the natural part is. It's got a lot of hair. Probably gonna say that like eight times in this video. <laughs> but. I kind of take a look in the mirror of where that's at right now, and that's pretty much where I want it to be. It's a good look. That's a good look. I think we're pretty much done. I say that all the time too. <laughs> so we're gonna start with this side first. And these are great, man. These you just stick on just as is. They hold the hair pretty well. I'm gonna take my cool care. People have been saying like, you know, it takes 10 minutes to disinfect. Correct, it does take 10 minutes to disinfect, but it's also a five one, so it does lubricate, which is mostly what I'm using. I do disinfect these after I'm done using the clippers. I move on to scissors, I'll disinfect them really quick. And by the time I go on to the next cut, I'm just lubricating them, so they are disinfected. Uh, using the two guard on this, and we're just gonna start taking off some bulk here. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just using my comb as the guideline for my top, top, top line. Just getting all this bulk off. So Dan, what made you want to cut the hair off, man? Oh, it's just totally unmanageable. How long have you been growing out for? Uh, it's about probably maybe nine months ago. Nine months. So nine months. Okay. Not, not, not terribly long. I mean, I've gotten it trimmed since then, but exclusively just growing it out without getting it. Mm -hmm. so, well, yeah, about nine months. I'm gonna constantly be blowing the hair off of him right now. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! I'm stuck. So I'm trying to be as cautious as possible, keeping as much hair on top. I don't want to take off too much. This is a great look for you. Yeah, this, this is. is a I think really we're done good here. Look. You look like a who from Whoville. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So we're doing the same thing on the other side right now. We got the other side up. Got the part done on the other side. And we're just going through and just getting this all done. All this bulk off with the two. Make 
sure I get around the years. I am I'm gonna go back over this with a shorter number, but the more I take off, the easier it's gonna be in the long run. Now I'm just gonna go through with my two and make sure I got everything I wanna get with that two. Still here cutting a little bit, so let's so now we got that done. I do want to keep the hair up right now. I know you're probably not liking this look. No, <laughs> what it's, it's exactly what I was going for. Okay, right. perfect. Uh, so I'm going to keep this up while I start doing the fading. Because I want to start getting all the rest of it off. So what I'm doing now is I'm uh, opening up my clipper. What's really cool about these is they do have locks in them. So I can kind of just lock. It's got a uh, five, one, two, three, four, five spots in it. I'm going to hit it right in the middle right now. If I need to go back and kind of get some lines out, I can just kind of work within. I know where my lines are set. So these are great, great, great clippers to use. All right, now I'm switching over to the one and a half guard. And we're going to kind of work our way up through the rest of the head now. So I got my guideline. I'm going to start working with that. Close, open. This is closed. I'm sorry, the one and a half is closed. I'm starting to... I like to fade up. Uh, some barbers like to fade down. I know um, Jake, the barber on the channel, He sometimes I see him fade down. Uh, that's a personal preference. I have no issue with anybody fading up or down. I'll sometimes start to uh, fade down if I'm looking for something else to do or trying to try something a little bit new or it works for the haircut. But right now, I just want to get all of this blended in and then go back and start to look at the rest of the fade. Uh, and I'm going back up into that two that I made right there. All right, so now what I'm going to start doing, I got a little more work to do up here, but I want to start seeing the, the haircut come together first. So I'm going to zero out the back. I'm also probably going to zero out the... Uh, size too to give it a nice taper. So again, I'm sticking with my babalus here and I'm just gonna go a little bit up. This is why I went high with my one to begin with, so I give myself some room to play with uh, down below. I'm kind of I'm kind of scraping at the hair right now just to kind of get it to blend and I'm, I'm kind of seeing off with it. Now I asked Dan before about the redness back here. I asked him if he had any irritation or something like that. He says you're not feeling anything, right? No, no, no irritation or anything like no. that. So this could have been because of his long hair. You know, he could have not been getting enough moisture to his skin or something like that. Uh, it could be a rash or something like that. Either way, I'm going to sanitize my hands though. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's really not gnarly. Good. It's not that bad, dude. It's just like, yeah. it's just dry skin, really. So right now I'm going to start to zero out this. I want to give him a nice taper and kind of blend in the beard because you can see there's a little bit of a notch here in the beard. I want to work with what he's got. So I got this zero. Mm -hmm. I'm just going up right above the ear. I'm also making a mental note of where I'm putting this because I'm going to have to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm kind of at the middle of the ear right now. So we're gonna go up. I'm gonna open this up just a little bit. And again, we're going just little, little tiny increments. And we're seeing off, so we're not making any hard lines. Open it up fully. See off with this whole thing. So I talked to him already. He said, I asked him if he was feeling any irritation because it's a little bit red right now. He said he's not really feeling anything. He just has a little bit of sensitive skin where it's kind of turning red a little bit. Now this is good for me to know for when I ask him, I go to shave his neck right now, his neck might get a little irritated. So I didn't ask him, sorry, does your neck get irritated when you shave at all? Uh, not generally, mostly just the- Mostly not? Yeah, because I, I shaved for so long, so it's not So really it's used to it. You're yeah, ex-military, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so he's ex-military, he's used to shaving everything like that. But I am gonna be cautious when I go down there, I'm gonna check it when I use the T-liner on his beard to see if he gets any more irritation. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Went back and cleaned up the back a little bit. I might go back and forth, see some spots that I missed and everything like that, a little darkness here. But again, I like to see the shape of the haircut come through first. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my Babyliss uh, T-liner, this gold FX one. If you've not tried this out, give this a shot. This thing is unbelievable, the weight of it, everything. And we're not like sponsored by uh, Babyliss at all. We just really like their products. So don't think that we're trying to give you a push, but this is just stuff that I like to use personally. 
I have to start getting myself a line here. I'm just gonna go right over the ear. I'm just kind of getting all those hairs down. In Charles' video, you'll notice Charles talked about kind of doing like a C kind of motion following it. That's great. That's Charles' thing, and I learned a lot from Charles, but I found the technique I like the most is just kind of following whatever his natural line is here. Some people do like a C. I just kind of like following whatever's natural on the whole head. It's a lot of hair. It is a lot of hair. We're going to take some weight out of it, too. All right, so now for this, I'm going to do clipper over comb. I prefer clipper over comb on this kind of thing, just to kind of get all this weight down. I'm going to go back into it with some texturizing shears and give it, take some of the weight off and have it fall nicely. Just kind of following my guideline throughout the hair right now. Dan, what branch of the military are you? Uh, Army. Army. Oh, thank you for your service. Thank you. So I'm going to try out these shears I got. I got these from Shark Fin. These are called the Erasers. They are a technically a 60 tooth shear because they have teeth here and they have teeth up on the top. They're the eraser because they get the lines out a little bit easier because they're cutting inside the hair and they're cutting outside the hair. Try to keep the hair out of the way as much as possible that's up on top. You already see that line's kind of going away a little bit, which is exactly what we want. We want to keep some weight up there just to give it some nice shape to his head. A little bit higher on that. So that really texturize the hair. I'm just gonna kind of keep going back and forth, looking at spots. Again, less is definitely, definitely more with these shears. I think I talked about them uh, in a couple other videos, but uh, you really don't want to go too, too much with these. Uh, you can always, always go back and hit them again. Okay, how are we feeling about the sides so far? Looks good. Yeah, you like the taper? Yeah, I like the taper. Good. Good. We're also going to blend that into the beard too. We haven't gotten there yet. But let's work on uh, the mess. What's up going on up here? Yeah. That's what's also great about these things, they just pull right off. All right, so this is the way he's gonna comb it straight back. So I'm gonna be looking for where I wanna start taking some length off. I'm definitely gonna be taking some length off here. TJ, if you wanna see the back right here. There's a lot, a lot of length back here that we're probably gonna take off. So you start styling, you're gonna start styling back like that. Yeah. But we wanna get some of the weight off here. <clears throat> because then it's going to start going like this. Mm -hmm. That's not really what we want it to do. We kind of want it to go straight back. Right. And we want to, you know, try to use as little product as possible, even though, you know, you're, you are going to definitely need some products the way your hair falls. All right, so we got it combed back. We got it wet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start taking some length up. I want to start at the back. I know some people would start in different directions, but I want to start at the back first. Just to kind of see, again, I like to see how the haircut's going to work and then kind of work into it. See my guideline over there. Okay, so now we're gonna start working on the side. Now, what I gotta do for I'm gonna treat this as a normal undercut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the hair side to side on this. Let's see my guideline. There. I'm just going to wet the hair again. Now I'm going to start from the front. I'm going to start over directing it to the back. Start working. I work side to side in this case. It's coming out nicer. No, it's definitely coming out nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt and Fury. Yep. Okay, so this is what we're gonna have the issue with is right here. Yeah. So I know what we're gonna do. All right, so now that we finished that up, we got some good length off. Now what I'm gonna start to do is, I know this is gonna become a problem. I like 
cutting guys' hair because they usually like low maintenance and it becomes a challenge to figure out how can I cut this hair so that it's going to come out easy for them so they don't have to worry about blow drying it and putting you know way too much product in when they you know are upset with uh, you know how much work they have to put in to make themselves look good when they can just look good just by waking up and doing a little bit of product here and there. So I know this is going to be an issue for them right here. This issue right here, all this weight. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just do scissor over comb, just going straight up naturally with it. Again, we're going to keep combing it back as if he's going to do it himself. He doesn't have to worry about doing too much. I'm just going to kind of take off whatever wants to go off. So this cowlick right here, this is going to cause him some issues. So I'm just going to go up through it. And just try to take it off. Just go little by little. Again, less is always more in these circumstances because you don't want to take off too much hair. So that's already helping them in terms of it's not falling too much on that side. So now I'm just kind of point cutting with scissor over comb on this thing because I want to get some texture in the back here. I don't want it to be perfect. I don't like undercuts um, that have a super 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 hard line in it you know I want some some definition some texture in it so I'm just gonna start chopping at this I'm gonna clean it up a bit more with our uh, thinning and texturizing issues and again same thing we're just kind of taking it and just going off with it like this I just want to get a lot of this weight off so he's not killing himself here yeah, it's already starting to, you see how much better, it's easier not for me to comb yeah. that even. Yeah, so it's not as weight, because you have a lot of hair, because you've got a haircut in what, nine months or so? Yeah. Yeah, so it's getting rid of some of the weight, so it's going to make it easier for you to, you know, move your hair around a little bit. It's not going to fall. Like you see, it's kind of going like that. Yeah. We're trying to stop that from happening with the weight. So we're just going to start to get it. Yeah, so I'm just going in with my thinning shears, texturizing shears, taking out spots that I think have too much weight. All right, so for the beard, what I want to do is I'm just going to take um, my comb and my Babyliss uh, T-liner here. And I'm just going to kind of find that spot in his cheek. I'm just going to pull off here just a little bit. That already blends it very, very, very nicely. His beard is <laughs> super, super, super <laughs> coarse. So I'm just going to comb through it. I'm sorry if I'm hurting you at all. No, it's fine. I just got to get through it. So you can see the neck is where the issue really lies. Now again, I like to take where the Adam's apple is, do about a finger above that. That's my starting point. Just kind of work through the rest. Just kind of follow the way through what I just did. And again, with his kind of beard texture, you constantly want to be combing, combing, combing. It's going to bring the hairs out that you think you missed, or that you did miss, I'm sorry. Just kind of going over the side to help myself out when I hit it with a straight razor. Now right now, what I usually would do is I would freehand the beard with a T-liner and just kind of slowly start taking off some of the uh, straggle bits that are coming out of the side. However, because this beard is so curly and tight to his face, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start combing it and I'm gonna put a guide on my clippers and just go down with the guide. So I'm gonna start with a three and see what that takes off. But again, I'm gonna start combing it and letting those hairs kind of fall where they're gonna go. Let's see if a three actually takes anything off. So a three's taking a bit off, not as much as I'm wanting it to, so I'm gonna switch over to a two. I'm gonna open up the two, and then slowly start to close it. You can just about hear it cutting. I'm gonna go down two notches on this thing. Again, that's what's great about these clippers, is you, can, you know where you stand with the notches, so that if you do somehow lose your place, you can always get back to it. I get here, I kind of open up the clipper a little bit more give him a little more uh, girth down at the center of the chin. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the, um, we're gonna start straight razoring his neck, so I'm just gonna get a hot towel and put that on. 
All right, so we're always testing the hot towel on our wrist to make sure if it's too hot for my wrist, it's going to be way too hot for his neck. Is that too hot? No, it's good. Always double check, too. Still good? Yep. Good. So now we're just going to let that open up his pores real quick. Let me get my razor ready. All right, so I took some Elegance gel, shaving gel, and I put that on his face. Now we're just going to start lining him up. Play Tony Hawk Pro Skater. This is it, yeah. Yeah, that was it. The soundtrack, yeah, <laughs> that was it. Goldfinger. <laughs> now I did my general outline. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a dry shave. So I put a new blade in. Uh, the skin's still a little moist from the towel that I put on them. So I'm just going to kind of go against that line and just kind of make it a little bit harder of a line. All right, Dan, how you feeling? Awesome. Good. That's exactly what right. I was looking for. Cool. Cool. We're getting Down rid of the of this beard. Yeah. thing. It'd be nice if it goes, gives it a little bit of a bump kind of thing. A little Boy Meets World kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bump. perfect. All right, so we're going to put a little yeah. bit of product in him. All right, so now we're just going to use a little bit of styling balm in his hair. And we're going to put a little bit in his beard just to keep down some of these straggle bits right here. Uh, he's going to continue to grow it out, so he's going to start using oils and everything like that to get rid of the itch so he gets through that. Uh, whole phase so we can continue to grow it out. But right now we're just going to use some Four Vices Styling Balm. Uh, this is my favorite one. It's supposed to mimic uh, it's coffee, tobacco, cannabis, and hops. It's supposed to be the scent it's supposed to have in it, so I enjoy that. We're going to take a little bit of stuff here, rubbing our hands, get it warm. I'm just going to rub But you thought that uh, you weren't going to see me around anymore. Well, it's true. If you want to see me around, you got to head over to Beard Brand Alliance. Otherwise, if you hate me, stick around here at Beard Brand. I'm not here anymore. <laughs>